Hello, welcome to Astronaut. Today we're talking briefly about galaxy rotation curves, a graph that indicates the existence of dark matter. A galaxy's rotation curve showcases the relationship between the velocity and radial distance from the center of the galaxy. What would we expect this relationship to look like? According to Newtonian mechanics, v, the velocity, is equal to the square root of g m over r. This comes from equating centripetal force to gravitational force. m v squared over r, the centripetal force, is equal to the gravitational force g m m over r squared, where m represents mass and r represents distance. At the very center of the galaxy, there is no mass, so the velocity is zero. In the inner part of the galaxy, as the distance from the center increases, the mass increases, and thus the velocity increases as well. After a certain distance, which we often measure in kiloparsecs, the mass of the stars in the galaxy does not change significantly. At this point, as the distance from the center of the galaxy increases, we expect the velocity to decrease. Observations, however, reveal that the velocity remains relatively constant across multiple radii. Since g is constant, we assume an invisible mass is compensating for the disparity in velocities between what is expected and what is observed. A rotation curve is often calculated from observations of hydrogen, so rotation curves only extend out as far as there is neutral hydrogen. Most galaxies have dark matter, but it is suspected that not all galaxies do. Some observations suggest the presence of galaxies that only have visible matter. Okay, well, that's pretty much all for today, so thanks for watching, and as always, ponder, wonder, and go right in the stars.